Hey TVs, it's Psyche Bob. Well, I tell you, I've had a long day at the office. Psyche Bob's been tired and uh, came home, did some more calls, and took a little power nap. And now I woke up and haven't had dinner. It's kind of late, but I'm getting hungry. So I think we'll go out and take a little stroll, get some fresh air, and maybe pick up something to eat. So why don't you come on along? By the way, I thought I'd show you this scroll that uh, was on the wall behind me. This is one of my favorite scrolls. I like oriental stuff. And this is uh, my giant Buddha scroll. Isn't that great? It's an old one from 2015, but it's a great wall decoration. Kind of vintage historical. So there we go. We got the great Buddha shining his blessings. And they always say when you touch the Buddha's belly, you get a blessing. So we'll take the Buddha's blessings. <laughs> You know, it looked like it was going to rain earlier. I don't know if I should bring my umbrella. I don't know. I can't tell. It's really dark out there. Well, I think I'll leave it. We'll take a risk. Let's go on. Oh, the elevator's here quicker than I realized. Well, here we are. Time to go down. <laughs> Woo! It's fun to spit out the elevator. <laughs> oh, well, that was cool. You know, it's funny. I live in a, in a high rise and. Uh, Talk about past life influence. And I know that in one of my former lives, I lived in like the 1920s and 30s. I was into the, uh, the Art Deco period. And all my life, I, I had visions and dreams of living like in a New York high rise, like an Art Deco style home. And so when I started looking for to buy a home, my first thing was to move to a high rise. And I remember all my family thinking, why are you moving to a high rise? Because like you've never lived in one. You've always lived in, you know, like single family house. And why do you want to do that? I mean, they even could say, well, you know, they even thought, well, you might like a townhouse. When I said a high rise, they're like, why would you do that? I said, I just love it. And I've lived here for like 15, 16 years now. And I'm just, I'm a high rise person. Anyway, I think it's past life. Oh, look at our moon. That is so beautiful. It's hard to see here. A little bit of haze, but it's, a little more than a half moon tonight. Really beautiful. I love that. Ah, oh, Tubies, it is so nice out here. It doesn't look like it's raining and the air's dry and cool, so I guess the storm went around us. But I tell you, it is a beautiful night tonight. Gentle, soft air. I love it. And that moon is glowing bright. I like to walk at night, especially on summer nights, you know, spring and summer nights. This, this uh, night air just feels good. I love to watch the moon. I tell you, I am a true moon worshiper. I just, I stop and I just, I get in awe, I get enraptured by the moon. You know how, I think it was really probably started by the Christian church, but they said that the moon would make people go insane and mentally ill. And there's true that, it's probably true for some people, it affects them negatively. But really, I think a lot of that was propaganda to stop the old ways of Wicca where they honored the moon goddess. Because as I'm out here now, look at this, guys. You can just see up in the sky. Oops, there's a house right there. That moon is just bright. If we zoom in on it, we can see it. Just silver white glowing in the sky. I think it's mystical. I really do. You can see it's kind of a soft hush on the streets. See the townhouses here, and just soft light out. It's a perfect night for a walk. We all build up some appetite. I have a little appetite, but I'm not that hungry. Yeah, I'll find something to eat. I don't know what's open this time of night. Ah, uh, Tubies, look what I just discovered. This is kind of interesting. Look at these kind of, what are these? These like plants here, they're like stalks. Can you see these coming up? I don't know what they are, but they look like stalks of asparagus. <laughs> you know, in the ancient days of Greece and Rome, asparagus was used to make magical wands and used in Lord Dionysus uh, rituals. Anyways, I don't know what, I guess these are flowers, but boy, they look like stalks of asparagus. I love asparagus. Makes me want to eat them. <laughs> I better keep walking. I guess I'm getting hungry. I'm dreaming of asparagus stalks. Gosh, I'm going crazy. See, I, maybe the moon does make you crazy. <laughs> you know, 
of the vibe on the street tonight is really calm. I, I don't know if you'd have this experience, but a lot of times when I go out on the street, I pick up the energy. It like feels aggressive and hostile sometimes, or sometimes it's calm. Tonight it seems calm. Like, yeah, there are people out, but there's not a there's not an aggressive feeling like sometimes you get. I like that. Calm is good. Definitely in my world. Calm is good. You know, it seems tonight everything's just kind of a gentle glow. The lights of everywhere are just kind of soft and gentle. There's our local bank. Oh, and look what we're coming up on, Tubies. <gasps> it's McDonald's! That sounds good. I think I'll pick up a little something here. Ooh, here we come. This is a good late night thing. I know that a lot of people don't like McDonald's, but I'm not politically correct. So you're just going to have to accept that sometimes Sega Bob goes to McDonald's. And that's just how it is. Here's our big golden arches sign glowing up here. Ooh, they got neon going everywhere today. Bright and shiny. I love it. <laughs> At our local McDonald's, we have these new machines now. They're electronic. And all you do is you walk up and you touch them. You see, they bring up stuff. You want to eat in or take out. We're going to take this to go. I'm going to stay here tonight. Do you guys have this where you live? Yeah. Then they have all these things. I kind of like it. It's like playing on a computer. <laughs> Maybe I should work for McDonald's because I can do orders. Oh, and now, guys, I'm kind of my favorite part of ordering a shake. We got small, medium, large. Oh, we're going for large. If you're going to have a shake, you might as well really indulge. Large shake. Woo! <laughs> All right, Sega Bob's living large. I'll be large if I keep drinking shakes. Just, oh, just went away. Oh, something's going on. I ordered, but my receipt didn't come out. Oh, I have to go up here and sort this out. Well, I'm waiting. Seems like there's a lot of people tonight. Yeah. I don't know if I will get my stuff because they wouldn't give me my receipt. But we'll see what happens. Well, bad news, guys. I ordered a shake and they're out of shakes and I'm doing a shake and a shake and a shake. So, the second box ordering a Coke. So, I guess we'll get our ice. It's not bad, anyways. It's a hot night. So, maybe a cold drink of a shake will, I mean, a Coke will be okay. So I'm a Coke person myself. I'm not being endorsed by Coke, but I do love it. Alright, Sega Bob's happy. I got my sandwich and I got a large Coke. Sega Bob's good. Let's go out into the night and see what there is to see. Come on along, guys. I just love this giant old oak tree here by McDonald's. It's really big and you can kind of see it even though it's dark. You know, I'm lucky because wherever I live, nature is around me. You know, even though I'm in an urban area, we have so much parkland, it's like I'm in nature all the time. Even being in the midst of the city. Here we are coming up to my local fire department. See the fire trucks in there? I have really mixed feelings about this place because, well, they have a lot of change here. So the current people I don't think are bad, but this uh, firehouse was used by the Department of Homeland Security in my stocking a few years ago. Now it's all different people, so. But this was used as a place to attack and harass people. And that makes me sad. But I'm going to just keep walking. Well, Tubies, it's late and Psyche Bob is really tired, so I know this was kind of a short video, but I had a good time just hanging out with you guys. And I'm going to take a little another look here. There's our, our moon goddess up in the sky, our lady goddess of the moon shining bright. 
And I hope wherever you are tonight that her light shines upon you. In fact, let's do a little prayer. Gracious goddess of the moon, mother of all life, mother of the moon, the sea, and the earth, bring a blessing to all of my YouTubers. May tonight everybody who watches this video, wherever they are, great mother, may they receive your blessing and your illumination. So mote it be. So mote it be. So mote it be. Well, guys, thanks for being here. I love you. Listen, if you want to help Psyche Bob out, like this video, favorite it, share it with your friends, hit subscribe, be part of our channel. We'd love you to be here. We really would. Well, guys, I'm so glad we got to spend this time together, and I hope wherever you are again that you have a wonderful and blessed night. Listen, keep it here at Spirit Channel. We always got more coming. Uh, be back here tomorrow. It'll be Friday. That means UFO Friday. We're going to talk about some cool and mystical stuff. So I hope you'll be here for that. Until then, may you always blessed be.